should break your nose if you do anything stupid. <laughs> Blood Madness, new series, April 9th on Discovery and stream on Max. That was epic. What's up, Jeff? Hi, Bryce. Hi. How are you? How are you? I'm doing great. Good morning. Thanks for talking to me about Mud and Madness on Discovery Channel. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, you know, Bryce, tell us about the extreme world of mud racing. Uh, is it mud, money, and mayhem? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's, it's, uh, I mean, to put it short and sweet, it's a it's a competition uh, where some, some they're all different types, man. That we go to some of it's who can go the fastest through the mud, who can go the furthest, who can do, who can show out the most, you know. And and whoever uh, can can win the competitions that day, the classes that day, gets paid. It is incredible, you guys. I mean, I just had thoughts of my childhood and playing in the mud. And and Megan, did you play in, in the mud as a child? And you thought to yourself, can I make a living from this? <laughs> Um, absolutely. I played in the mud as a child. Um, I do remember making those mud patties on the driveway, but, um, never thought I could make a living out of it when I was young. <laughs> I love to see that conversation with your parents saying, you know what, I'm going to race in the mud for a living. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't think that would be a great conversation. <laughs> <laughs> and Bryce, people who participate in the sport, they're characters themselves, aren't they? They're bigger than life. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm I'm most looking forward to, honestly, with this show is is you guys get to kind of see this, uh, you know, in the middle of nowhere uh, party and good good time atmosphere that's happening that doesn't really get showed to the world a whole lot. So I think you guys are going to have multiple characters in the show that uh, that you really like. And, and Megan, do you find yourself never getting fully clean after a race, always finding mud or is it always a dirty business? hundred percent. Um, I usually have to clean stuff multiple times. The hair is horrible trying to get, keep clean, um, between the rig myself. It's a lot, it's a <laughs> lot of dirtiness, <laughs> but I love it. Now, Bryce, looking at these cars, it's no different than any other racing, uh, sport because these look expensive. They look like they need a lot of maintenance and these look like unique vehicles just to go in the mud. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's that's another thing that that is uh, pretty unique about this. Uh, a lot of guys, you know, spend as much money, uh, you, you know, on their race cars and stuff as they do their home. Well, this is no different for us. I mean, we spend, you know, six figures easily in each machine. Lots of us got multiple of them. And uh, the difference is we just go and destroy them and bury them um, and, and, and the nastiest mud that you can find. So, you know, these other guys might have a, you know, like other racing programs or whatever might have a 69 Chevelle well, that's a hundred thousand dollars. Well, it stays in pristine condition. They don't do what we do. We destroy them. We tear them up. We make them nasty and, uh, uh, you know, rinse and repeat the next week. <laughs> and Megan, do these take place all over the country? Where, where do you find a place to race in the mud? hundred percent. Uh, we've raced all over the country. Um, even, even Minnesota this year, they, have mud everywhere. If they don't have mud, they will make mud for us for a, um, a bounty hole or any course possible. And Bryce, is it all in the end about bragging rights? <laughs> I mean, uh, for me, for sure. I, I can't speak for everybody, but yeah, for me, I mean, I just want to, uh, if I don't, if I don't win that weekend, I definitely want to put on the best show. So yeah, uh, a lot of times that's who people talk about, you know, afterwards is, is who put on the best send, who put on the best show. Um, but yeah, it's, it's about bragging rights for sure. And now with this new series on discovery, are you both ready to be like having a whole new legion of fans? Are you guys both available on social media to interact with your fans? Yes, sir. We both have uh, our own social media. I mean, they're going to be popping. They're popping already. Um, it's just going to be hundred percent more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations. Oh, to oh go ahead. Yes, right. I was gonna say, yeah, you could, I'm whiskey biz on all platforms. You can check me out. Awesome, man. This is a great show. I'm a new fan. I appreciate your time this morning and let's talk again soon and good luck with the show. Sounds good. good talking to you.